How dare you? All right. <clears throat> the balance. All right. So, in dedication of us playing Super Mario Galaxy because of Super Mario 3D All-Stars releasing, I bring you a bunch of cakes that we will eat today on stream that I got from that local Chicago, Illinois restaurant called uh, Portillo's. It's super big. It's like a real big deal here. Obviously, after growing up my entire life in Michigan, when I came here for the first time, that was like the first thing everyone said to me was like, Did you go to Portillo's? Hey, have you been to Portillo's? What do you mean they look really bad? What do you mean? I mean, they've been in the refrigerator, but I don't think they look that bad. Boop. They're little, like, mini cakes. The top one looks bougie. Yeah, the top one is, like, a little strawberry shortcake. In honor of, this is the one I think that's most like the cake that Peach makes Mario all the time. But yeah, we're gonna try these out. They're like, I mean, they're not super fancy, right? They're from like a fast food restaurant, but still pretty good, I'm sure. Fast food places aren't super popular for no reason. Let's see, oh, it's like all juicy. You see that? I guess you can't really tell because of the glare. How much were they? Ah, uh, they're like five bucks each. It's like drowning, yeah, but that's the appeal, right? All those juices. Yeah, let's open it. Let's see where we're at. Hopefully you can still hear the music from the game. Juicy cake? Well, it's a strawberry shortcake. Cook. Of course it's gonna be juicy. Ow. I think I just cut myself on the plastic opening this thing. Ooh, it might be frozen now. Okay, that might be not good. Here it is. Dear lord, I hope this doesn't fall over my keyboard while I show you a view of this. It kind of reminds me of, like, you know those tubs of, like, Ready Whip, by the way? Uh, that's kind of what this looks like. Just whipped cream. There is a frozen strawberry right on here. Oh, it's, like, sliced up already. Fancy. Hmm. Still fresh. Still good. Enjoy your meal, Sumi. Have a nice night. I always instinctively, like, look at chat instead of my webcam, which I should be doing. But I feel like I'm looking at you guys when I look at the chat window. Maybe I'll just throw it over the camera so no one knows. No one's... Everyone's none the wiser if I'm just looking at the chat window. There we go. Perfect. It looks like I'm looking at the camera now like a professional. Like an actual professional. So, first of all, this is just straight whipped cream. Really good. And because of the bright lights, you can't even really tell like what's going on with it. But if we, oh, look at that. It all comes out at once. When you lift with the fork, mmm. You can see all that strawberry goodness. You play Kingdom Hearts, Astros. What are you doing, my dude? Oh, there is a little bit of actual cake in there, too. It's not just whipped cream. Never mind. I kind of thought it would just be whipped cream. Thick whip. <laughs> You're right, Romance. It's a very thick whip. Oh, look at it. Juice. You can hear it sloshing around. Wait, can you hear it if I put it in the microphone? Can you hear that? Probably not over the music of the game, right? Oh, we got a full strawberry there. Beautiful. <laughs> that noise? So a mukbang string? Yeah, that's what I'm going for. I want to try something out. I think you have to eat a lot more sloppy than I do. That's why I tried to like, sleep right off the edge of that. 
but they always like eat with their mouths open whenever I watch like people do mukbang streams or mukbang streamers. Would you get a better camera? Maybe I do. Maybe I will buy a better webcam for stuff like this. Because of the bright whiteness of this, it's kind of hard to see like what I'm doing. The other cakes, it won't be like this. You see, there's some cake and some strawberry there. It's really good. Very squishy, but it is, admittedly, mostly just whipped cream and strawberry. There is, like, the teeniest layer of, like, real cake in this. And the cake has already just absorbed all the strawberry juice, which, as you guys can see, is just... Just everywhere in this thing. Oh, here we go. In the center, there's a little bit more cake. Here we go. I'll just get a bite of actual cake. Oh, it does kind of just look like the whipped cream, though. Because it's just so bright white. Slurp some ramen noodles on camera? Maybe. Pretty good, though. I'd say for the five bucks, you can't really go wrong. I've always found that a lot of fast food restaurants lack in, like, dessert foods. Granted, their foods are bad enough as it is, so, like, you don't really need desserts, but... Eat deep dish pizza? Well, now that I live near Chicago, that's probably not a bad idea, gamer. Maybe once everything opens back up. Alright, let's try, now that we've eaten a nice little chunk out of this. This was the strawberry shortcake one. Which I'm sure you guys could tell from the pure whipped cream and strawberry. That that was strawberry shortcake. But let us try another type of cake. What should we throw in? What is next on the agenda? Before we get to the big one. There is a chocolate eclair cake I'll try. This one's like weirdly melting, even though it was in my refrigerator. You can see that. This is the good view of it. It's really, it looks really good. I mean, just take a look at that. At the top of it. We, uh, open here now. It's just the thickest layer of chocolate you have ever seen in your life. I mean, look at that. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I think they must, maybe they like melt this chocolate on it. That's why even though it's refrigerated, it still looks melty. Like right in the front there, it's just... Okay, not gonna lie, Sinmin, not gonna lie, that looks good as fuck. Yeah, you're right. This looks really good. And plus, because it's not bright ass white, it doesn't freak my camera out when I show you guys it. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's get an actual fork full. We can look at it a little bit more. But this is the chocolate eclair cake from Portillo's. Hmm. Look at that. Graham. Beautiful. Here you go, Chad. Are you ready? I'm going to feed you. Shh, shh, shh. Just, shh. Just give it a shot. Just give it a, a little taste. A little try. You'll love it. I promise you. Okay. Now it is my turn for a bite. <laughs> cake looks good when you eat it you feel meh cpu i feel that i feel that um indeed well that's the same with like any dessert food right <laughs> you guys didn't like that you didn't like the camera spoonful of cake well, I must tell you, it's very creamy and very good. The chocolate is as creamy as you'd expect. The eclair also very good. The graham cracker, like in between, uh, the layers of custard, I think it's called when it's an eclair. Um, very mushy as well, though, which is kind of weird because I was expecting there to be a little bit of crunch in there. I'm not sure what's in the eclair. Hmm. I'm sorry, Cook. 
I didn't mean to violate social distancing policies in the middle of this stream, but I just couldn't help myself. I wanted you guys to be a part of the experience with me. This is really good. I almost like can't stop myself from eating it. It's very sweet, very like mushy. Though the uh, the graham cracker not being crunchy is a little weird, but I can't say I hate it. I like how like um, mushy it is, to be honest, because it would be kind of weird if it wasn't. Maybe this is something else. Maybe this isn't like a graham cracker. I keep thinking it's a graham cracker, but maybe it's not. Let's look it up real quickly. Actually, Portillo's menu. What do they call it? Chocolate eclair cake. Mm. No, it is a graham cracker. It's Cool Whip, French Vanilla, Pudding, and Chocolate Frosting. The Chocolate Frosting is obvious. In fact, it doesn't even really feel like a chocolate frosting, it just feels like a chocolate sauce, to be honest. Have you tried Googling the restaurant? Let's, uh... Let's just get an image of it up here, then. You can see real quick. Um... This is, like... I feel like their iconic image. Like, if you look up Portillo's, like, this is it. Let's, uh add this in here real quick. You can see their logo. Their logo, a display of their normal foods. It's quite good. Is this, this is what we're looking for. Look at that. Now we'll put it there, just for a little bit. Quite nice, but yeah, it's like a local uh, Chicago area. It's in a lot of Illinois, but it's mostly an Illinois like restaurant. It's like a Sonic or a you know any type of fast food restaurant. A and W. It's a little bit better. It's like those second tier fast food restaurants, like not a McDonald's, not a Burger King, but like a. You know, just slightly better, like an Arby's or a Wendy's or something, you know? You know what I mean? I hope that's a good enough description. But that is the Eclair Cake. The Eclair Cake is significantly better than the Strawberry Shortcake, I must tell you. The Strawberry cor Shortcake felt very frozen, which I'm sure they have to do to, like, keep those strawberries good for, like, more than two days. Um, the Strawberry Shortcake, very frozen, very just whipped cream. But this is like an actual combination of flavors that you got here. Um, the graham cracker, the vanilla pudding, and the chocolate sauce. Very good. And actually squishy. Not like the weird frozen bites that we were getting out of the, uh, um, strawberry shortcake. I'm actually, the more I think about it and compare it to that eclair cake, the less I like the strawberry shortcake that we started off with. I thought it was pretty uh, good, but no. Not a fan. And the final one that we can be trying real quick today. Oop, dropped my fork on. Luckily, I dropped my fork on the table, <laughs> so that's fine. I just have to clean the table, not the fork. Really? I don't know if that's etiquette. My table's clean, so probably. Not even a table. I'm eating at my computer desk right now for this stream like an absolute animal. Don't tell my mother. Uh, yeah, this is the last one. Is Portillo's iconic, at least that's what they say every time you go there, their iconic chocolate cake. It's a very big deal at their restaurant. They also make a milkshake out of this cake. It's just a thick chocolate cake. But the like key ingredient that they describe on the menu with this cake is that they use mayonnaise in this chocolate cake while making it. So they, the mayonnaise helps keep the cake like super moist and helps it retain its flavor. Very good. At least I've heard. I've had the, ch uh, the cake, or not the cake, the cake shake before. 
where they just take a piece of this cake and just mush it into a blender with some ice cream. And it, it comes out as a delicious chocolate shake. It's very good. Let's see if we can find all the ingredients to this. Portillo's chocolate cake. Oh, the first thing is everyone wants to know the recipe. But I always find that people uh, freak out when they mention that there's mayonnaise in this cake. Hey, Jibizi. Gypsy, actually. I said your name wrong. I'm glad you're coming back, my dude. Welcome. But yes. Beautiful. Oh, they don't tell you. Like on the Portillo's website, the ingredients, actually. Unfortunate. It costs, to buy a full one of these cakes, it's like $45. <laughs> the singular slice was five bucks, but a full cake is like 45. Not much to see for it, because it's just pure chocolate. Uh, it's, there's not really much of a show and tell. You can see that thick frosting. But this is what I'm saying. This looks like an actual frosting, right? If we look at the eclair thing again, this doesn't look like a chocolate frosting. Slightly different. This looks like a chocolate sauce. But this cake, this is a chocolate frosting. It's different, alright? Just slightly different. You know what I mean? Okay. Let's actually try a bite of it now. First I will try without all the frosting. We'll go for one of the smaller ends, the front ends here. Just to get a taste of that moist cake, right? That's how they describe it. That's like their big adjective for describing this, because they put the mayonnaise in the cake and it makes it super moist. Just look at it. It kind of looks like it's about to fall apart, honestly. But that means it's good, right? Falls apart, melts in your mouth, all that kind of good stuff. Mmm. It's really good. Really good. It is really moist. I don't know, it tastes, I'm sure it's not fresh, but it tastes really fresh. It almost tastes like it was just made, which, if, I mean, hopefully it was, but I just assume because it's a fast food restaurant that it is not freshly made. But maybe it is. Let's try it again. I don't know the words to describe it. It's like fluffy. It's very fluffy. That's probably the best way to describe it. It like feels like there's a bunch of air in it. It's really good, but... I just... it feels kind of like chocolate air. It's so fluffy. Where'd I get the cake? Portillo's. It's like a Chicago area restaurant that I thought I would introduce everybody to. By trying their desserts on stream. Yeah, fluffy. It feels like very fluffy. Like you could tell they put a little bit of extra effort into whisking it up when they were making it. And let's try a bite with that thick, as a romance would say, that thick frosting. The frosting might be a little bit too much chocolate for me, which is rare that I would say this, but in comparison to the fluffiness of the cake, the frosting almost seems a little bit too much. Because the frosting is super thick, and it like is actual, it's like an actual food almost, I would say. Is it comforting? Is it decadent? I don't know if it's comforting. I'm not currently sad, so... I'm sure if I was very sad, you know, like, uh, I'm in middle school again, my girlfriend at the time just broke up with me, heart is broken, I think this would comfort me. Hmm. Eating just the frosting itself like that, very good. But the frosting and the cake I'm not sure mixes as well, because the cake is so fluffy, but yet the frosting, so thick. Look at that. Kind of falls apart. You can see a little bit of that frosting just like hangs out there though, because it's so thick it doesn't like break apart with the cake. Hmm. 
This is chocolate cake. I bet you definitely want milk. Oh, I absolutely want milk. I always want milk. Longtime viewers of the stream will know. I review milk on this channel sometimes. Milk is my go-to drink. But, unfortunately, I somehow ran out of milk. I didn't think when I was ordering the cake to get milk. Devastated. Have a good night, frog. Thanks for stopping by. Have I heard of the Travis Scott meal at Burger King? Um, no. I have not. I do not know who Travis Scott is. I am not young and hip anymore. I don't know all the new people. Is that a celebrity? Great milk reviews on this channel. Thank you, Colin. I thought I did quite well at reviewing milk, if I do say so myself. I'm still waiting on True Moo to sponsor this channel. But when they do, I'll let you know here first. I'll have a glass of True Moo before every stream. All right. What would be the best way to show off all these cakes sitting with the camera at once? Without dropping them all over my computer keyboard. Let me know, if, chat, if you guys think I'm getting better at these, um... Mukbangs. I think this is like... What is this, the fourth or the fifth one we've done? We did the, uh, curry. I did the... Takoyaki. I did the... Uh, Japanese Kit Kat flavors. The cake. Oh no, we've only done four. Math is hard. Have I ever thought about playing Among Us? Yeah. I did last week. I played it, streamed it four times for like 20 hours. Really fun. Chat and I had a lot of fun. We played together, everyone here, and a couple others. Well, actually, I don't think of everyone here, I don't think Romance was a part of the uh, Among Us streams, but a lot of you were. It was a lot of fun. I was playing with subscribers and people in chat and everything. Am I getting better at these, uh, um, mukbang streams, though? That's what I was trying to ask before I rudely interrupted myself with my own train of thought. Um, are these still something people want me to do? Are we getting good at these? Here's a good side-by-side -side view. See, look at this. This, the Eclair one, that's just a pure chocolate sauce, I'm thinking, because it's, like, already starting to melt again, and it's been outside, and I just have, like, a room temperature room. Have I thought about playing it again? I have thought about playing it again. This is it the only mukbang I've seen? Oh, but you gotta watch my uh, takoyaki one. Romance. I see, this is just taco sauce. It's melting, but notice in comparison, this one's just like still thick. Right there. You have a good face for mukbang. Thank you. I appreciate it. Maybe I get should get a uh, higher quality webcam then. So I can actually show off my face with the proper color. Okay, these are the two chocolate ones. These were definitely better. I liked the Eclair one with the vanilla pudding way more than the chocolate one. But this is the one that they pitch as their, their like, key cake. And they're like, you have to order it. Because this was like $3 more than this. Like, this was like 7 bucks, and this was $4, I think. Something like that. And then this was the, the strawberry shortcake. Um, if we're being honest, I didn't spend too much time talking about it. The strawberry shortcake was a dud. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't a fan of this. Which is weird, because I normally like, like whipped cream and strawberry and like the sweet uh, bread that's normally a part of the uh, strawberry shortcake. But I think this was just like way too much I can't believe I'm saying this. Way too much whipped cream, and then the the strawberries too juicy. Because when it's in a fast food restaurant like that, this has to be like made fresh, and obviously they can't do that at like a fast food place. So the strawberry juices just sit there, and so by the time you get it at home, the bread of like the cake part of the strawberry shortcake is like just completely melted into the strawberry and it's just, it's just not good and so you just kind of get like a mush that's not great yeah not a fan 
I'm not even gonna reopen it for the stream. You guys don't need to see it, plus it's, since it's the bright white, you can't see it anyway, but you get my point. But yeah, here again, the two cakes. Beautiful, look at that. Give me that good camera angle. Look at all the crap I have on screen. It's nice though, right? I think it's fun to do this kind of stuff. Not just playing video games all the time, it's nice to take a break. I still have to try uh, sake from the uh, Yakuza streams, I think. But I don't know if we could do a mukbang of that, really, because it's just taking a quick drink. Oh, maybe I try sake and sushi at the same time, because I haven't had sushi before. That could be a fun one. And then just get drunk as hell. I'm sure that would do well. Don't you have to, like, heat sake up or something? I'm not familiar with sake etiquette. Or sushi etiquette, for that matter. Is that something people are still making? At restaurants and stuff? Or are those all shut down? Eat it with your hands? Why would I do that? Not when, uh... I have chopsticks and stuff and know how to use them. Special streams? Yeah, no, all the streams are like this. It's just sometimes there's games in the background. And sometimes I'm eating food. Tequila? Ooh, no. I'm not a big tequila guy myself. Not a big tequila guy myself. The one with soy sauce, one without? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could do that. Ah, it feels kind of gross washing that all down with water. I can't believe I didn't buy milk. I see, I thought I had milk already. Rookie mistake, because I usually just, I always have milk stacked, ready to go. Like two gallons in my fridge. <sighs> it's a travesty. Truly a travesty. Fatty tuna, Sal uh, salmon roe. We can give some, maybe, yeah, maybe Friday we'll do like a I work though. It'll be hard to time that. Maybe Saturday we'll do that. Saturday we'll do like a sake and sushi. Yeah, sake and sushi. Maybe we'll give that a shot. Who knows? Hmm. All right. That's probably, uh... Save sake for the Yakuza Like a Dragon stream? Yeah, maybe. Okay, maybe, maybe. I thought we were gonna do that for uh, the Yakuza Zero stream, but yeah. Maybe we do it, for, maybe we save it for Like a Dragon. Do another food. What was another food I was gonna do for a different game? I don't, honestly don't even remember now. Oh, I can already feel the my stomach from <laughs> mixing three different high sugar cakes. <laughs> Especially this late at night, my stomach's like, excuse you? What do you think you're doing? We're trying to go to bed soon. You can't just do that. Whoops. Oh well. No, my fanny tuna. <laughs> Oh. I like Morgana, guys. Don't be mean. Alright. Maybe I will in look at investing in some uh, new and improved webcams that looks a little bit prettier than this. Maybe you guys can let me know some uh, recommendations for better webcams. If we're going to keep doing this mukbang thing, I should probably improve the quality of the webcam. I still have a super cheap one I bought in like 2015 when I was a broke college student. And I also still have a the same mic I bought when I was like 17. <laughs> the only thing that's improved is like my PC and the uh, the uh, quality of my game capture. I have a better game capture now. But I still have the same webcam and the same microphone that I bought in college. It was 
and rubbing those pennies together to get <laughs> to build this setup and do the things that I'm doing now, which are finally starting to pay off. We're starting to have a fun little community here. And if you enjoy the fun little community we have here, then you should join my Discord channel. Link in the description below to check that out. If you enjoy the chat, we got nope the chat the chat over here. If you enjoy that conversation right here, there we go, nailed it. If you enjoy this conversation, you want to be a part of it, talking with all these cool kids like Romance and CPU and Colin and Astros and Lucifer and Gamer and Simon and all those other people that have been in the chat that are not currently on screen, then join the Discord. Link to that is in the description below. Free to join for anyone. Discord itself is also a free app that you can download if you don't have it already. It's a fun little chat room. We have some voice chats occasionally as well. So feel free to join that free app to download and then a free membership link from me for you to join. Check that link out. Not sponsored by uh, Discord yet. But one day, I'm sure they'll sponsor me. Just like True Moo. Alright. And now that I've done the Discord plug, of course, I think it's time to wrap up today's stream as well. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed some of the Super Mario Galaxy streams. Tomorrow, I'm back at it with Halo ODST. Just launches on the PC for the first time. So I want to play that again. No particular reason why, it's just one of my favorite games, and it coming out on PC again is just a good excuse to play it again on stream. So, we'll be back tomorrow with some of that, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If you hit the subscribe button, my streams show up in your subscription feed. And if you hit that bell button, then, which is down there, you hit the bell button, you'll get the notifications in your notification box, or you'll even get like a push notification on your phone, depending on how your settings are set. You can, when you hit the uh, bell button though, you'll be able to uh, set exactly how in depth you want those notifications to be. And then besides that, you can like the video as well. You don't, nothing really happens if you like the video, except it helps boost this video 